So YouTube has done the incredibly stupid and has taken down my video, which proved that Nama Levy was not raped. I used video evidence of videos that Israel themselves released, and I analyzed them, and I used those videos to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that she was not raped and that Israel and Zionists lied about her being raped. And so what does YouTube do? When I expose the truth about Zionist traitors who are lying and li using uh, women who were captured as POWs and lying about them and using them as political tools to advance a geopolitical agenda and genocide, well, YouTube takes down my video and falsely asserts that I was praising, promoting, or aiding violent extremist or criminal organizations, at least according to this stupid email I got. Uh, so, of course, I appealed it, and they gave me this, saying uh, they're not going to reinstate the video. Okay, uh, well then, instead, I'm going to show you who the real terrorists are, because, like I said in another video, you can't censor me. Okay, you're going to falsely accuse me of nonsense that had nothing to do with my video at all? Okay, I'll just show you that Israel and Jewish supremacists are terrorists. And I'm going to give you a little montage. I don't even need to say much about all this stuff. You can just watch the videos and see for yourself. <laughs> That was gross. Let's move on. Next one. You accused me of aiding a criminal organization or terrorists? No, this is this is not what Hamas is doing. This is what Israel is doing. Let's move on. Next one. He's dead. She's dead. Next one. Next one. A part is done a bit. A spin low and I'm Next one. She's saying Israeli terrorist account calls little girl they bombed a whore and mock her tears. 
So this is what Jewish supremacists do. They make fun of the children that they murder. This is what real terrorists do, YouTube. You fucking idiots. Here's a soldier. Like this, you know, like he took a baby head and cut his head, the head and cut his head. How many Palestinians have you killed? I told you, 13. How long were you in Gaza? 82 days. How much did he take to take off this vest and clean on the Palestinian baby's blood? Like kill like this, you know, like he took a baby head and cut his head, the head and cut his head. Like this, you know. So, this is not a Hamas fighter. This is an IDF soldier, Israeli soldier, who admitted to beheading Palestinian babies. Remember how they, how Israel lied about Hamas beheading Jewish babies? Every accusation is a confession with these terrorists. Uh, let's see what Jewish terrorists have to really say. You have six billion idol worshippers who makes God angry every second of their life. Indian, Chinese, Japanese, uh, Tibet, Nepal, uh, 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 Thailand. Uh, so many. India alone is 500 million. China is 2 billion. Uh, so many. 2 billion Christians, which are idol worshippers. Between Chinese, Indian, Hindus, Buddhists, and Christian, at least six, six and a half billion people are idol worshippers that, according to the Torah, do not have the right to live. Idol worshipper Goy, it's that penalty. Not only Jews, even a Goy who bow down to an idol. So, you get an idea of what uh, Jewish supremacists really think about the Goyim. It kind of makes sense when you've seen how indifferent, how apathetic they are about murdering children. So this guy says, burning of Christian churches in Israel justified, far-right Jewish leader says. Yeah, that's what Jewish terrorists do. They, they justify all the crimes they commit because they don't care. Let's take a look at this. Also tonight, a rabbi accused of sexually assaulting an 11-year-old girl, taking a plea, and facing his young victim in court. That deal includes a number of restrictions for the well-known rabbi from Miami Beach, but it wasn't enough for that young girl's mother. Local 10 News reporter Leanne Morajon live now to tell us why. Calvin, the alleged victim's mother was adamantly opposed to this deal from the start. She even appeared in the courtroom today with her daughter to beg the judge to reject it. That did not happen. And today we heard from that rabbi's attorney who said that his client was an innocent man who was vilified in the media and in the court of public opinion. No trial for Steve Carroll, who was charged with lewd and lascivious conduct and molestation on a child. Instead, the rabbi pleads no contest to a lesser charge of battery, completes counseling and nine months of probation, and has no contact with the alleged victim. Her mother, now outraged. I wanted him prosecuted as a sexual offender. God forbid it happened again to another child. In April, Rabbi Steve Caro was arrested by Miami Beach police for allegedly touching the buttocks and body of an 11-year-old girl outside her clothes and kissing her neck. Caro admitting to touching her, but insisted there was no sexual intent. Love her. Money, cleansing. The state offered Caro a plea deal, citing a lack of evidence in the case. I don't have the tools available that would be available in many other types of cases to convince a jury beyond a reasonable doubt that the defendant's intention was sexual in nature. The victim and her mother stood before the court asking the judge to reject the plea. Please, Your Honor, let us see some justice in this case. Judge Christina Miranda sided with the state. Ultimately, the victims have a say in what they would like to have done, but the victims of a case do not have the ultimate decision. After accepting the plea, Rabbi Carroll slipped out silently, but his attorney had this to say. What happened in this case has been so blown out of proportion. I'm happy that we're able to give a closure to this and move forward in our lives. So bottom line is Rabbi Kara will be on probation for the next nine months, will undergo counseling, is not allowed any contact with that alleged victim, and must also not have any unsupervised visits with minors. If he keeps up his end of the bargain after nine months, this case will be dropped completely.
Reporting live in Miami tonight, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News. All right. And in response to... Also, the matter rabbi accused story. of sexual... Oops. So in response to this news story, I wrote over here, so he doesn't have to register as a sex offender. Jewish privilege on full display, face palm. Because he doesn't. Let's look at one last thing. Maybe you guys heard about the anti-Semitism bill. I was going to make a video about this, and I probably will later. Uh, but uh, Zionist Jews are trying to make uh, quote-unquote anti-Semitism illegal. And any critique of Israel, any criticism of Israel committing genocide, as I have done, they want to make that illegal. They also want to make Christianity itself illegal. Uh, I've had criticisms about Christianity in the past, but even I draw the line somewhere. Um, let's listen to what this guy has to say about uh, this new anti-Semitism bill that has passed Congress and awaits being passed by the Senate, and then at that point only Joe Biden has to sign into law. So let's see. Let's hear what this guy has to say about it. Now, this guy apparently used to uh, support Israel. I want to know the full list of what I'm not supposed to fucking say. And I'm going to say everything on that fucking list every day. Tell me, give me the list. Give me the fucking list of what I'm not supposed to say about Israel, about what I'm not supposed to say about Jews. And you make that illegal, I'm going to say it every fucking day. And I am anti-Israel, period. I am fucking anti-Israel because the ADL, I know is the ADL doesn't work for Israel, but if Israel doesn't shut their fucking dog down, which is the ADL, their little attack dog, they can shut them down tomorrow. Shut them the fuck down. I can't have the ADL and this law at the same time. I cannot have the ADL in business accusing people of being Holocaust deniers with this particular system. Fuck Israel. Fuck Israel. Fuck the ADL. This can't stand. If you want to make me fucking hate the people you want me to like, keep doing this. Keep telling me you're going to put me in fucking jail for my opinion. In this case, an opinion I didn't even hold. You motherfuckers. And by the way, if somebody votes for this, I need the whole list of anybody in, Sen in the Senate who votes for this. I want to know if there's any fucking Republican who votes for this. If you're a Republican in the Senate and you vote for this, you're my enemy. I will try to do everything I can to get you out of office. I will, I will defame you in every fucking way I can figure out how to do it. I will figure out who your opponents are, and I'll help fund them. I will vote for a Democrat over you. If you're a Republican and you let this get passed, fuck you. You're dead to me. You're dead to me. You are my enemy, mortal enemy. And by the way, I'm fighting to stay in a jail. You don't think I'm going to put some energy into this? Fuck you, every one of you. No, this law, if this becomes a law, I'm not going to act the same. Yeah, and in response, I said this. I want to know the... The second mistake Zionists made was thinking they could cross us in the First Amendment. Hell no. The people would start a revolution over that. Americans p can put up with a lot. No Medicare for all, no living wage. But the First Amendment is a red line. You don't take that away, ever. And if you're wondering what the first mistake Zionists made was, it was pissing off smart people. So... I agree with this guy. Uh, fuck Israel. Fuck Zionist traitors. Uh, I'm going to dedicate this channel to fighting against Zionist traitors and Jewish supremacists. That's it. I'm done with these, these traitors. Okay? These people have got to be stopped. <clears throat> and this is just the beginning. You can't censor me. I'm proving it right now. See ya.